Welcome back to another episode of Smash Engineering. Today we're doing a, kind of a Smash Engineering thing. I got this mower here and I need to change the oil in it. I need it done today. And so the problem is the Briggs & Stratton style um, oil filter is kind of like on back order and hard to get. We can't get one for like four days. So it needs to be done today. So the one that my friend purchased is a Fram 3600, PH 3600. It's the same thread and outer diameter, at least it's supposed to be, um, but it's like three times the diameter, or the length of it. So what we're gonna have to do, if you, let me see that. If you see down in here, this is the filter. It's kind of hard to see. This is the filter and the problem is, if you look straight on, the hood is in the way so we're gonna we're gonna Kentucky the hood cut some cut some speed vents in the hood real quick so let me go ahead and do that we're gonna use one of my favorite tools don't mind that the blade is nine and a half feet long but we're gonna use one of my favorite Milwaukee tools a little hacksaw because this is definitely a hack hate me if you like always wear your safety glasses come in close here Always make sure you're not going to cut something important back in there. Not exactly how I intended it. Turn the blade. Oh, my blade's just way too long. one like this.
Woo! They should not be that tight. now I'm just gonna put the oil back in it check it for leaks when I start it she's good to go it's probably gonna take a little bit more oil because that filter is quite about a bit larger than the original as you can tell it's about three of them so Thanks for watching. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I hope I uh, hope someone can use that. I don't know, not like it's a brand new mower, but if you have a mower with the same problem and just the hood's in the way, I think it actually looks kind of cool. Most people probably won't think that, but it's okay. Thanks for watching. I hope you can help someone in need, and uh, let's keep our hopes up for a COVID-free year this next year, and everyone can move on and love a little more and hate a little less. Thanks for watching.